Brought to you by Almond Auctions, the worldwide leader in antique tractor auctions. There's no doubt about it. Dwight Emstrom of Galesburg, Illinois is a Ford tractor man through and through. My dad had a 9N, an early one, and he traded off the horses for that. And we had the 9N until the 8Ns come out, and then we traded it for a 51 8 in and then I farmed with uh, a couple of 8 ins when I was in school and then when I got out of school I, I rented more ground and still kept the 8 ins I've always had some Fords I had a bought an 881. Dwight got his first taste of Fords growing up on his dad's farm now after 30 years of farming himself Dwight is retired, leaving him with enough free time to enjoy his own classic Ford tractor collection. The tractor is a 1947 2N. Um, I bought it in Wisconsin from a dealer probably 15 years ago. And the main reason I bought it was the condition of it, all original, original tires on it. And it's never had the head off of it. Well, it drives like a new one. The steering is really tight on it, just like new. It's got the original steering wheel on it. And uh, it steers easy. It's just an original, good original tractor. Ford's Model 2N was introduced during World War II. Ford built nearly 200,000 2Ns from 1942 to 1947. With a three-point hitch and a sleek, compact design, the Ford 2N was a darn good workhorse for just about any job on the farm. This is a two-speed uh, transmission. Uh, down, straightforward is just the regular gears, and you go to go into the overdrive. You pull that back, and that's uh, another three gears and an overdrive. With the overdrive, it runs about uh, 21, 22 miles an hour. With just a standard drive, it's clear down to 15, 16 miles per hour. They're just fun to drive. The 2N reaches its peak speed of 22 miles per hour with power from a flathead 9 engine. This is an attachment that when you have a plow with a three-point hitch on, when the, when the plow hits a rock, or a hard object, it will throw this forward. And that stop, put your clutch down so you don't damage the implement with the rock or whatever it hit. One of the most unique accessories on Dwight's 2N are the sand tracks that Dwight bought separately and added on. I bought them at a swap meet in, in, in Iowa and uh, I've seen them one year out there and we couldn't figure out what they was for. So and then the next year they were still there, and they, evidently they used them in san sandy conditions. The rubber tires held up, but once the rubber tires spin, why they're on eccentric and they come out straight, and that's supposed to dig into the sand and get you out. But would Dwight ever put these tracks down and try to dig himself out? If I find some sand, uh, it would have been neat to you know try them and see what, what they would do. I don't think in mud, I don't think they would do anything. Dwight may not have all that much faith in his sand tracks, but he's got no doubt that Ford made just about the handiest tractors around. And even though the 2N is a little on the basic side when it comes to looks, the Ford tractors that followed were a bit more dressed up. I'm sure glad that Ford started making different tractors than gray tractors. Here's why. Did we mention Dwight is a Ford tractor man? Yes, sir, he's got Ford fever so bad, he can now count something around a hundred of these little beauties. Some looking like new, some ready to be restored, and at least one that's a rare Ford indeed. This is EX-33 experimental tractor that was used by Henry Ford and Mr. Sorensen on Henry Ford's farm. They would go out on weekends and after work and see what they wanted to do change on them or if they wanted to change anything and they they played with them every weekend practically 
And uh, so Henry Ford and Sorensen both was probably on this tractor at one time. With 45 restored tractors in Dwight's historic collection, there are still more than 60 tractors waiting for their time to shine. My wife uh, has been real good about it. And uh, she enjoys it too. And uh, grandkids, I got some grandkids now. That's, I got a grandson that's trying to help me. He wants to learn some of this. And my boy is, he helps too. So it's a family, family deal. A family deal indeed. Way to go, Dwight. Keep that Ford Farm tractor history rolling on.